Hey guys, welcome to this 15 minute stretch. Today we're targeting lower body and back. A lot of areas that are frequently very tight on people. So we're gonna start off with a quad stretch. You might wanna hold onto a wall for support. You're gonna lift one leg up, hold it with one or both hands behind you and keep your knees together. Push your glutes forward. Good job, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So bring that leg up, foot behind you, keep it close to your butt, knees together, pushing your hip forward. This should be a nice stretch in the front of your leg. Next, we're gonna fold forward, feet about hip width apart, down to the ground, just let gravity do the work, or you can grab your ankles with your hands and pull yourself closer to the ground. If you're really flexible, you can grab the bottoms of your feet and pull yourself down. Next up, we're going to cross one foot over the other and do the same thing, forward fold, either let gravity do the work or pull yourself down further by holding onto your legs. Whichever foot is behind the other one, that's where you should have most of your weight and that's where you should feel most of the stretch. Good job doing the same thing on the other side. Okay, next up, bring your feet significantly wider, about double the width of your hips. And we're going to start by folding down to the right side. Keep your hips square, so both facing forward, feet are parallel. Great job, now we're gonna turn your foot out. So if you're bending down to your right side, turn your right foot out so it's perpendicular to your left foot, and then turn your hips toward the right as well. Again, hold on to your leg and pull yourself down as far as you can go. Great job, we're gonna do the same thing on the left side. So feet come back to parallel and grab your left leg, keep your hips square here, straight legs. Great job, and then turn your left foot out so it's perpendicular to your right. Turn your hips toward your left side, and again, bend down as far as you can. Awesome job, now we're gonna get into our spider stretch. So squat down to the ground and extend your right leg out so that it's straight and just your heel is on the ground. Sink down into your hips. You should feel a good stretch on the right side. Make sure your right knee stays facing up toward the ceiling. Great job, same thing on the other side. Extend your left leg and keep your left knee facing up towards the ceiling. Don't let it cave in. Awesome job, now we're going to move into a lunge stretch. We're gonna start on the right side, so get into a plank position, and then bring your right foot up so it's on the outside of your hands. Bring your left hand up towards the ceiling, straight up overhead, keep your hand directly above your shoulder, and look up towards it. Great job, bring that hand back down to the ground, and extend your right hand overhead instead. So twisting the other way, again, hips square, back leg straight, sink your hips down as far as they can go. Good job, now we're doing the same thing on the other side. So bring your right foot back into a plank position, then bring your left foot forward on the outside of your hands, extending your right hand first up to the sky. Remember to keep it directly overhead, directly over your shoulder. Good job, and then switch hands. All right, get back into a plank position and we're going to do a calf stretch. So place one foot over the other and sink back into your heel, pushing your heel back behind you. Great job, same thing on the other side, really flexing that foot, pushing your heel backwards. Right, now we're coming down into our pigeon. So start on the right side, right leg is in front, bent, and left leg is straight behind you. Again, keep your hips as square as you can. Try to get both your right and left hip down as close to the ground as they can go. And we're folding forward. Good job with that. Come up and twist to the right side for even more of a stretch.
All right, and now we're switching sides. So your left leg is bent in front of you, right leg straight behind you, knee towards the ground, hips square, folding forward. For a little extra stretch, you can extend your front leg up until your knee is at about a 90 degree angle. So the lower half of your left leg would be perpendicular to your right leg, which is going straight behind you. And then we're coming up and twisting to the left side for an even deeper stretch. Again, hips square down to the ground. Great job with that. Next we're getting into a butterfly. So feet are together and you're sitting up nice and tall. Grab your ankles, push your knees down to the ground, and sit up as straight as you can. We're also going to add a neck roll to this to start stretching out our back. So just roll your neck from one side forward and to the other side. Don't roll it behind you because that can just cause some strain on your cervical spine. Great job bringing your legs straight in front of you. Flex your toes and bend down as far as you can. Grab onto your legs and pull yourself forward as much as possible. If you can grab your toes, great. Pull back on them and try to get your heels up off of the ground. And then go ahead and point your toes. Grab your legs and pull yourself as far down as you can. Try to touch your nose to your knee. Great job, bring your legs out to either side of you, flex your toes, and reach your left hand up overhead to your right side. If you can touch your toes, great. If not, you should still feel a nice stretch along the left side of your body and along your right leg. Great job, do the same thing on the other side. Reach your right arm up and overhead to your left toes. Good stuff. Point your toes, turn your body towards your right leg, and bend down as far as you can. Again, try to get your nose to your knee. Make sure that your knees are facing up towards the ceiling, and again, not caving forward at all. And then do the same thing on the left side. If you wish, grab your leg and pull yourself down deeper into that stretch. Awesome job. Now scooch forward as much as you can, getting your legs as wide apart as possible, and then bring your hands in front of you, reaching and pull your body forward. Again, not letting your knees cave in, keep them up towards the ceiling. Great job. Now we're getting into our figure four. Cross your right ankle over your left knee, and again, sit up as tall as you can. You should feel a good stretch on the right side. And do the same thing on the left side. Great job, now we're going to work on our splits. So get into a lunge with your knee on the ground, right leg in front. Make sure your foot is far enough in front of you that your knee isn't extending past your toes. And sink your hips as low into this lunge as you can. Good job, now straighten that front leg, hips come backwards, and you try to get your nose to your knee. Keep your hips as square as possible here. And now we're going to sink down, straighten both legs as far as you can down into that split on the right side. Keep your hips square and hold it here as best you can.
great job. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Left leg in front, in a lunge, pushing your hips forward and down, making sure your knee isn't going past your toes. If it is, just move your toes up a little bit. And then straightening that front leg, trying to get your nose to your knee, hips square. And lastly, straighten both legs, sinking down into that split as far as you can go. Great job. Now we're gonna do another version of a figure four twist. So start sitting down, left leg is straight in front of you. The right leg is going to cross over the left and you're gonna to twist to the right side. Alright, switch feet, same thing on the left side. Sit up nice and tall. I like to put one arm behind me and that helps keep my back more straight. All right, now we're getting into our inversion. This is great for circulation. You're going to start lying down on your back and just lifting your legs up into the air. Take a couple of deep breaths here. If this feels comfortable for you and you want a little bit more, you can support your lower back with your hands and walk your hands up your back as you lift your back up off of the ground and get your legs high into the air. You can stay here or for even more, you can extend your legs overhead, keep them straight and try to touch the ground behind you. Make sure your head is facing straight up towards the ceiling and you're not turning your head from side to side because that can just cause some strain on your neck. Also make sure you're always supporting your lower back with your arms. You can stay here or if you want a little bit more, we're going to move into Deaf Man where you bend your knees and bring them to either side of your head against your ears. Try to get your knees to the ground. Great job. If you're in Deaf Man, we're now going to move back into the plow with your legs straight. If you're in the plow, now we're going to move back to the inversion. Again, supporting your lower back, legs up in the air. And then you're going to walk your hands down your back until your butt is back on the ground. Great job with that inversion. Next, we're moving into happy baby. So stay on your back, lift your legs up into the air, bend your knees and grab the outsides of your feet. Your arms should be on the insides of your knees, outsides of your feet, and your entire back should be on the ground. So really try to straighten it out from your tailbone all the way up to your neck. If this is easy for you, you can lift your feet up so that they're directly above your knees and then pull your feet downwards. This is great for your hips. This is great for your squat form. All right, great job with that. Next, we're doing our spinal twist. We're almost done with these stretches. So straighten one leg, you're staying on your back. You're grabbing the other leg with your opposite hand and pulling it down to the side of your body, looking the opposite direction. 
try to get your knee and your shoulder down to the ground. Take a few deep breaths here, and then we're going to switch sides. Do the same thing on the other side. Straighten that leg, bend the other one, grab it with the opposite hand, pull it towards the ground. Really stretching out your spine here. And that's where we're going to finish with our stretches today. Great job with all of that. We stretched out the lower body a lot. Also your back. You should be feeling a lot looser and a lot lighter now. Great job and thank you for joining me. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel, smash that like button, and hit the bell to be notified whenever I upload another video.